Where is my daughter? People don't just disappear. Welcome back to Release the Movies. I'm your host, Chris. And I'm your co-host, Lynn. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about movie release for Friday, August 10th. What are the three movies we're going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about uh, The Meg. And we're going to talk about... Um, oh, oh, AXL, Axel... Which looks crazy. And we're going to talk about Slender Man. Alright, we'll start off with Slender Man. And, uh, is Tomato Meter's not available, but 89% of people want to go see it. Oh, well, good now. for that 89% of people. <laughs> okay, you're not a scary movie type of person, so of course not. But, um, for, um, nowadays type of scary movie, I think it'd be good for uh, people who, you know, are teenagers will go out and go watch a scary movie. It'd be great. Yeah. Well. Me, it's just like, oh, more teenagers <laughs> got something scary chasing them. But I'm old and that's there's been a lot of movies made like that, so. Uh. Well, you're not old, but let me give you the storyline, okay. and then you'll understand why why Chris is saying what he just said. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a small town in Massachusetts, four high school girls perform a ritual in an attempt to debunk the lore of Slenderman. When one of the girls goes mysteriously missing, they begin to suspect that she is, in fact, his latest victim. And watching the trailer, no, I can't go see this. I'll have nightmares. It looked really scary. Yeah, so. I I was like, oh yeah, it looks good. I want to go see it, but yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, uh, it's another one. Uh, <laughs> the chick will run upstairs, but she shouldn't be running out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, let's see. It's an upcoming American supernatural horror film directed by Sylvain White and written by David Burke based on a character of the same name. The film stars Joey King, Julia Godotti tells Jazz Sinclair and Annalise Basso with Xavier Botet as a titular creature. Yeah. And it was uh, filmed in Ayer, Massachusetts in June and July of 2017. Oh. Yeah. It's, and it's based in a small town in Massachusetts. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Joey King is the first cast member that I'm looking at. Yeah, and he plays and Wren. Yeah. He played Wren, yes. And um, I'm going only back to 2010 with him. He was in Ramona and... Bezus doesn't tell me what character he played, but in Oz, the Great and Powerful, 2013, he was China Girl. Well, in um, Ramona oh, Bezus, he played Ramona Quimby. Ramona Quimby, okay. Yeah. I did see The Conjuring, I think. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, Christine Perrin. Yeah, he played Christine. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises 2012 as young Talia Al Ghul. The Dark Knight. Oh, gosh. Played a voice in Ice Age, Dawn of Dinosaurs. Played Beaver Girl. Hmm. But uh, let's see, television all the way back to 2006. 
The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Played two episodes. Emily Mason. Then Malcolm in the Middle. So, yeah. Malcolm in the Middle. Yep. Yeah. And then was it two music videos? Ramona Blue. And then Me by Taylor Swift. I see Ramona Blue is Joey King featuring Kelly King as the artist. But a couple of nominations won Best Performance in Feature Film in, uh, in Ramona and Bazoos. Okay. So, who else was there? Julia Goldani Tellis. Played as Haley. Yeah, I don't have anything on that person. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Let's see. Uh, television and film roles. Let's see. Mainly just television. Um, let's see. The film is most likely to murder 2018. Uh, Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. Let's see. The Affair, Nurse Jackie, The the Carrie Diaries, Blue Bloods, and Bunheads. So mainly just some television. Just lately just started doing films. And then uh, let's see. Jazz Sinclair is Chloe. Mm-hmm. You see anything on there? I'm looking, um, jazz. Oh, yeah, she's done quite a bit. I'm going back to a TV series, Masterclass. She played herself 2013 to 2014. Um, also, The Vampire Diaries in 2017. Ooh, that's good. Okay. And um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Oh no, that's in post production. Oh, oh. 2018. Good. But, uh, she goes back to 2009 Into Dust. Played the Snotty Girl. It was a short video. Snotty Girl. Yep, Snotty Girl. Okay. But, uh, all the other ones I don't recognize. I don't just, either. Just a couple of other ones, not very many, but, uh, let's see. The, uh, Italy Basso is Katie Jensen, Talitha Bateman is Zoe, Alex Fitzalil as Tom, Kevin Chapman as Mr. Jensen, Xavier Botet as the Slender Man. Uh, let's pull him up real quick. Um, do you see anything? Let's see. Uh, uh-huh. Insidious, The Last Key. He played Keyface. It in 2017 played uh. Hobo. Uh, let's see, The Conjuring 2 played Crooked Man. So, yeah, he's playing a couple of scary movies. Are you kidding? He's played in a lot of scary movies. The Mummy. The mummy. He played. <laughs> yeah. Devil's Gate. Hmm. And he oh, was a production he... crew member in Alien Covenant. Wow. So, yeah. that That's a. Oh, did we say who it was directed by? Sylvain White? What else have they done? Mm. Let's see. He debuted his feature hit, Stomp the Yard. He went on to direct the action comedy Losers, starring Chris Evans. Uh, he wrote and directed the French murder mystery film, The Mark of the Angels. He shot the supernatural horror film Slender Man. Okay. But uh, let's see. He, he also directed episodes of numerous television series such as The Americans, CSI, Hawaii Five O, The Falling, Person of Interest, Major Crimes, and Sleepy Hollow. Oh. I, I'll always know what you did last summer in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, let's see, um, it was written by David Burke, produced by Bradley Fisher, James Vanderbilt, William Chirac, Robin Messenger, Sarah Snow. So, so that's a quick thing about Slender Man. Okay, what do you want to do next? Uh, well, we're saving the other one for last. So, um, the Meg. Hmm. And, I don't know, is he eye candy for you? He is eye candy for me. We're talking about Jason 
Statham. How do you say it? Statham? Statham is what I Statham. hear usually. But it says 94% of people want to see it. Are you one of those 94%? I, I don't know. It. I'm not, I don't go swimming where I can't see the bottom or I can't see what's <laughs> around me. And what and what I'm reading is that after escaping an attack by what he claims was a 70 foot shark, Jonas Taylor must confront his fears to save those trapped in a sunken submersible. That's what it says, and that's how it ends. So I don't know what I wouldn't get claustrophobic yeah. just thinking about that. Now uh, I watched the trailer. I got mixed. I'm kind of mixed on it because. Um, they try to show it scary, but then all of a sudden they started going, showing funny stuff, and I was like, so is it scary? Is it funny? Is it both? It, what is it? But they classify it as action, adventure, drama, fantasy, sci-fi. But it's based on the Steve Allen's best-selling novel, Meg, a novel of deep terror. Hmm. Never heard of it. But uh, they were originally going to do it, Disney was going to do it in 97, but uh, they fell into limbo. It was around the time that Deep Blue Sea hit the theaters. Of Lai Lai. Okay. So I guess well, they just decided to wait. Well, they'll probably get people to go to it just because Jason is in it. Because he was in, uh, what, The Transporter? Oh, yeah. Um, yep. And uh, played that very well, my Fast, dad. He's been in The Fast and Furious the last couple of them, so... Uh, it was directed by John, oh, Turtel Tom. <laughs> Good, that's, hey, yeah. I, I tried, okay. Let's see, what was he known for? Ooh, he was in The Expendables in 2010. He played Lee Christmas. He was best known for his work with Sanford and Son. No, oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about the director. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I haven't gotten off of Jason yet. I, I'm still stuck on him. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> but uh, he's also done uh, Three Ninjas in 92, Cool Runnings in 93, While You Were Sleeping in 95, oh, Phenomenon in 96, Instinct in 99, Disney's The Kid in 2000, National Treasure 2004, as well as 2007 sequel, National Treasure Book of Secrets, uh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice 2010. Wow, he's done so, some great ones. Yeah. But, uh, let's see, all the way, uh, I see all the way back to 90 and Think Big and then Driving Me Crazy. So. Seems like every, I'm looking at the list, seems like just every couple of years he does one. So, um, what's in there? Let's see, Lorenzo de Balaventura produced it with Colin Wilson and Bell Avery. Um, so, who, who stars in it again? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, right. Jason Statham. Yeah. Bing, Bing, Bing Lee plays Sue Inn. Right, Rain Wilson plays Morris. Cliff Curtis plays Mac. Ruby Rose plays Jax. And the list goes on. Um, but the one, uh, of course, Jason, we were talking about, um, I think his most popular was the, um, what did I say a while ago? Well, Fast and Furious, of course. He was in six and Furious Seven. Yeah. Um, he goes all the way back to ninety eight and Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Oh Lord. The and Transporter. It, That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Transporter. And he was a snatch and turn up in two thousand and then the latest ones was The Fate of the Furious in two thousand seventeen. But uh, like you said, he's best known for probably tra Transporter and the Fast and Furious. Uh, but uh, he knows Kung Fu, Kickboxing, Karate. He was an avid football player, Diver. Uh, 
He was tapped by Britain's national diving team to compete in the 90, 1990 Commonwealth Games. And then he was asked to model for French Connection, Tommy Hilfiger, and Levi's. Yeah, so, so he, not only has he just been in movies, but let's yeah. just mention he's been a fashion model. Yeah. <laughs> And he, as you were saying, he's a diver, so he, he has, or was on the British national diving team and finished 12th in the world championships in 1992. Yep. Um, he's also an Italian job in 2003, Crank in 2006, uh, War in 2007, the Bait job in 2008, the Mechanic 2000, yeah, he, yeah, he's been in several, several movies. And, uh, if you've seen any of them, you probably know that he, about his kung fu, kickboxing, karate skills, because he, he likes to show them off at them. <laughs> I got no problems with it. I like watching him kick butt, so. <laughs> but he lives in Beverly Hills, but he's from England. Hmm. But, uh, let's see. He's married, so. Oh, no, engaged. So. Aww. So he's Sorry. still available. <laughs> Rosie Hartington Wittelli? Is she in this movie? Nope. I'm looking at Bing okay. Bing Lee. Oh, who's... She's uh, from China. Where um, is it? And... Oh. She's, she's got quite a list. I think a lot of them international, yeah. but... Um, she rose the fame with her role of 17 years in 99. And the World Without Thieves in 2007, Way Alone in 2005, The Knot 2006, From Big Kingdom 2008, The Message 2009, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, Hollywood Blockbusters, Resident Evil Retribution 2012, and Transformers Age of Extinction 2014. Okay. I hope I didn't cut you off, I feel like no. I did. No, you didn't, no. Okay. Um, okay. I'm looking at all her credits, so you're fine. <laughs> Let's talk about Rain Wilson real quick. Okay. He looks familiar. What was he in? He played he played like a co star in movies oh some comedies. Um Oh it's gonna bug me. Let's see. He was in the office. Uh, let's see, he made his oh. film debut in Galaxy Quest in 99, followed by supporting his parts in Almost Famous in 2000, Steven Soderbergh's Full Frontal 2002, House of a Thousand Courses 2003. He also had a recurring part as Arthur Martin in the HBO series Six Feet Under from 2003 to 2005. Yeah, as soon as you see his face, you'll the first thing you think of, I think, is the office. Funny, funny guy in the office. Other than that, I these others I'm not very familiar with. Yeah, my super ex girl for nuts where I was thinking of him at okay. But uh he's also played a voice in the death of Superman that it's coming out or came out, I don't know, 2018? Uh, see, he's been in several television, like Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Sort Treks. He also directed one episode. Um, Chelsea Family Guy, Reno 911, Sorry Not Live. He was in one episode. So. Law and order. Yeah, so if you if you look at him you'll 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 recognize him. At, right away. I, I agree. But so. all right. is there anything else about the Meg no. USA? I think we more or less said I, everything. Yeah. It's they're just saying it's a action horror sci fi. Yeah. So, so it, it probably keeps you on the edge of your seats a couple of times during the movie, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But, uh, hopefully it gives you a good idea if you're going to see it or not. Now, 
the main world. Uh, if just seeing the title of this movie, I probably would say, eh, whatever. Probably wouldn't go see it after seeing the uh, trailer. Now I want to go see it. <laughs> so what is it? Are you, oh, sorry. I actually right now just trying to get back to my screen. It's not um, AXL. Axel. Yep. And it looks it looks like a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> actually, it's a new adventure about a down on his luck teenage bike rider, uh, Miles, played by Alex Destrader. Who stumbles upon a advanced robotic military dog named Axel, AXL. Endowed with next generation artificial intelligence, but with the heart of a dog, Axel forms an emotional bond with Miles, much to the chagrin of the rogue military scientist who created Axel and would do anything to retrieve him. Knowing what is at stake if Axel gets captured, Miles teams up with his smart, resourceful crush, Sarah, played by Becky G, to protect his new best friend. Uh, and the trailer looks, it looks even better than everything you just read. I oh, mean, yeah. the, the trailer was exciting. It showed emotion. It showed drama, um, sci-fi. But uh, the t- t- on the tomato meter, it says 91% of people want to go see it. I would definitely put me in, a, in that 91 yeah. percentile. Yep, me too. But uh, let's see. It, Alex Lestrader, I probably butchered it, stars, oh, I'll say it's directed by Oliver Daly first, which uh, I can't do nothing with. Uh, let's see, hold on. Oh, now I can do it there. Let's see what else he direct. Oh, no, that's it. Miles in 2017, screen wrote. But that is it. Wow. He is I, new. Yeah. But, I uh, see. he also screen wrote this one too, also. But, uh, we'll talk about Alex Estrader. Let's see. He was in, uh, let's see, 2009 Deer Hunter, Prisoner Number Two is a short film. Um, I don't let go in 2015. I think that no, it's a short film. Um, oh, he was an a- Agents of Shield TV series. He played Christian, Christian Ward. Ward. Yeah, sorry, but, <laughs> uh, you probably said that because I'm trying to scroll nope, down. I didn't. Here. I can't. I only go back to like 2009. Yeah, as far as back as I can go too. Oh, okay. But he ma- he made a couple of guest appearances in uh, three music videos. Hmm. Busy Being Born by a Middle Class Rut, Slaves to Substance, and Suicide Silence, and then I Bet My Life by Imagine Dragons. So, okay. He's got a good-looking face on this uh, uh, website I'm on. Very uh, nice model face, if you will. Okay. Young. I mean, young. He looks young. So, um, let's see, play Caleb Johnson, The Last Breath. It kind of mentions that up here. Um, Join the Big Cast USA's network TV series Colony by as Bram Bowman. He also stars in the film Shovel Buddies, that had its world premiere at South by Southwest on March fourteenth, two thousand sixteen. So, okay, then uh, let's see. Becky G. I was kind of wondering who this is. Um, she's cute. Uh, let's see. Latin pop, pop rap, and dance pop. Oh, she's a seer, I guess. Uh, yeah, she's professional. No, professionally, it's Becky G. American singer and actress. She first gained recognition in 2011 when she began posting videos of herself covering popular songs online. One of her videos caught the attention of producer Dr. Luke, who offered her a joint record deal with Kimosabi Records and RCA Records. Well, that's cool. That's way cool. That's what happens with internet. You put, <laughs> you think you're a good singer, you post videos of you singing, and all the next thing you know, you're in a movie. 
<laughs> She's got several credits. I only go back to 2008, which is might be what you have. But yeah, um, um, E Tux. Tux. Short film. Yep, that's but, it. Uh, L Tux. Oh, L Tux. Okay. Oh, I don't. I can't pronounce this. This is a lost a little bit. I never know. Yep, I see that one. <laughs> de, de la Cali Alvera is yeah, so. Sean de la Cali Alvera. Oh, you did better than I did. So, where is she from? Where, did I say that earlier? Uh, uh, no, it doesn't say. I don't see uh, it. Let's but... see. Eagle... Oh, she was born in. I'm she sorry, go ahead. she was born in Eaglewood, California. Yeah. But okay. uh, let's see. Uh, don't. Huh. I don't know where those are from, but okay. Um, she played herself in several TV roles. Well, Hobby Madness, Teens Wanna Know, To Dia Allegra, and uh, Austin Alley. She played on Empire on two episodes. Uh, cool. But uh, let's see, House of Sin, Power Rangers film she was in. And she, wow, she's been nominated and won several awards for singing. So, yeah. I was wondering with a day like Becky G, what she did. <laughs> but, alright, let's see if there's... We've got Thomas Jane, who plays Chuck Hill in this movie. And um, he's best known, well, he's an actor and producer known for Deep Blue Sea in 1999, The Thin Red Line in 98, and Boogie Nights in 97. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, used to be married to Patricia Arquette and Aisha Hauer. Yeah, Deep Blue Sea is actually streaming right now, so I just watched it a week or so ago. So as soon as you see his face, you'll you'll be very familiar with him. I just didn't recognize the name. I just recognized the face. Yep. All right. Well, there's the three movies coming out on Friday, August the tenth. So you got a good action, two good action movies, and a scary movie. Yeah. <laughs> so. so have your pick and go see a movie and enjoy the movie. Have fun with the movies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Someone there? I'm not going to hurt you. Let me get this out of here, right? Wow. The hell are you? Introducing Axel, the latest in military protection, featuring facial recognition, onboard weapon systems, and owner pairing capabilities. It's paired now. The key gives him control of the entire project. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make show better, Go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.